be or not to be. I don't give a fuck as long as you listen to my poetry. A man who wanders and walks through his home all alone may be a man who's looking to get on the roam. I walk in the sunlight and there's no shadows I cast. Then I realize I couldn't make it past that car wreck. I'm dead at last. And have you heard the word? The word is last. Final chapter in the past. There's no ropes that can tighten, squeeze or clench. Like a bad tooth that needs to come out of my mouth or a root needs a wench. Well, like the ball player, he played good and he made a mistake so they put him on the bench. What the heck is he talking about? Well, I don't rightfully know, but it rather sounds a bit of poetry. Let's hear a little more to understand the gentleman. Married to a casket with a corpse inside. Yeah, that's right. Laying next to my bride, loving the undead, makes me crazy in the head. I'd rather be with a living, loving woman instead. Many moons have rolled through the skies. Many tears may have fall from my eyes. Cause my thought of hope is love never dies. So if you see me walking through the tombstones all alone as I roam, I'm only looking for another wife for my life. Well, I think that was rather interesting. I think it was about a love he once had and she grew tired of him and did not love any, him anymore. And she left him and so he searched for another wife. But he only knew that one type of wife so he was looking for the same problem again in another wife. Well, to me, I took it as this sick bastard that uh, likes to com commit sins of uh, necrophilia. Necro Nancy, she had the noose. And Johnny Joaquin, he has the poison juice. So many ways to die and only one way to live. That's take any of their lives and make sure yours is not to give. So go out into your life and kill them until they're all gone. Go out every night, make sure you're home at dawn. Your skin will be scorched like a bona fide torch. But we will see your flesh will be spread apart and nailed to your front porch. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you tonight is take pride. Take pride in every flight of life. Now that one is a little scary, deep. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. Oh dear, it was clearly, clearly about a psychotic episode of a serial killer. And the things that he portrays through the night, looking in the mirror, speaking to himself, is clearly that is what is, was said there. Let's hear another. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I miss your lies and your crooked smile. Trying to think on how you're gonna get one over on me at every mile. Acting like you're my friend, but behind my back you thought I was vile. So that's why you lay dead upon my kitchen tile. Your blood has stopped running and your flesh is in a pile. I'm gonna feed you to the gators or crocodile. Sounds like this one has a problem with some issues with relationships, doesn't it? Oh yeah, some have. Oh yeah. Yup. Probably true. Probably true. I know the secrets of the sky. I know that the sky is high. And things that are in it often fly. But what about the things that fall? I bet those things wish they were really, really tall. I know the secrets of the sky, that if you go too high, you can die. I know the secrets of the sky, 
If you were not born with wings, don't even try to fly. It sounds to me like he is obviously afraid of heights. What you be talking? That's where you're slap ass crazy. The man knows the secrets of the sky. Now just quiet on down so I can hear the next round of poetry. <laughs> Valentine.